Hey everybody, it's Tim here from Wonder Thing. I just wanted to say hello and make a quick video about something I just figured out how to do that so I've seen some people online asking about. I uh, just thought I'd throw a quick video together to show you how to do it. And that is how to add the Facebook customer chat plugin to ClickFunnels. Okay, so I made a video last week, I think, about how to add the Facebook customer chat plugin to WordPress. Um, and you can see it here on our website. Um, what you can basically do is now use Facebook uh, from our homepage or any page on our website actually to talk to us uh, and uh, you know, stop by, have a chat. If you'd like anything from us, you're more than welcome to and test it out. Um, we're friendly, we don't bite. Uh, welcome to talk to us anytime. Um, but this was using WordPress and I showed how to do that with a plugin. If you're looking how to do that, there is a video on this channel uh, about that. Just take a look and you'll see. Um, but instead, we're going to show you uh, how to put it in a landing page using ClickFunnels. We use ClickFunnels a lot uh, for our clients and someone had asked me, uh, a client had asked me how to do it and then someone contacted me actually via this plugin here um, and asked me if, if they like the they like the WordPress one but they wanted to see it in ClickFunnels. So I just wanted to do this. I, I took a look at how to, how to do it. I had a hard time with it to be honest and then I searched something online and I found deep within one of the Facebook uh, chat chatbot groups that I'm in how to do it so um, I just thought that I would uh, I would take a few minutes and, and make this video so uh, let's get it right into it the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Facebook page for your business uh, this will only work for a business you can make a Facebook page really easily online uh, sorry on Facebook um, there'll be tutorials online how to do it though there will be Facebook documentation I'll make a video eventually of how to do it but I haven't quite got there yet um, Look below, maybe I'll post a link on how to do it uh, from when I make a video. Uh, if not, figure that out. And then you're also going to need ClickFunnels. Um, you can go to ClickFunnels um, if you don't have it already. I assume you do if you're, if you're coming to this page, but you never know. Um, I have a link there that will give you a free trial in ClickFunnels so you can kind of follow along with your free trial. So get that all set up, get to the point where you can actually make a funnel and uh, you have a Facebook page and then we're ready to rock. I'll show you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna to go to click funnels we're gonna make a we're gonna make a funnel a landing page using a funnel so um, I'll go over here log into click funnels I'm going to I'm gonna to go to the funnel marketplace um, actually sorry I'm just gonna click build funnel here I'm gonna use a funnel called Ripplin um, and I think that stands for rip landing page rip with two P's so if I can figure out how to search for that um, I want to use a lead generation. So I know they have a, sorry, sometimes they have a, so many funnels here. There's so many great things you can do with this thing. Um, I guess there's, we want the lead magnet funnel. Here we go. So we'll use this. We'll look for a lead magnet funnel. And scroll down. It's this one here. It's green. But you could probably use any of these. I suspect this will work with any ClickFunnels funnel uh, template. So um, give whatever you whatever you're doing, give it a shot. If you already have one, this will work. But I'm just going to make this one just to show you here. Okay, so this is now the Ripplin funnel. We got it. Click Get Funnel. ClickFunnels is working on delivering my funnel. So I'm supposed to sit tight. So there they go. The funnel is made. And there it is. Okay, so now um, it's coming up. I don't know why it's taking so long. But we'll just edit it. So we go into the ClickFunnels editor. Now this is the key to everything. Okay, I'll just keep the page the way it is. You can you can go and like, you know, change all this stuff. ClickFunnels is great for that. You can change the headline. You can change the image. You can change how much information you're going to collect, you can add your logo, all that stuff. All we really need to do for this though is we're going to go to settings and we're going to hit tracking code. Okay, and that will open a little code window here. Uh, don't get scared. It's okay. We can make it through this together. Uh, there'll be a header code. There's footer code. Um, and this is where you're going to put your fit, your Facebook customer chat plugin code uh, into ClickFunnels. Okay, so let's go find that. And that will require us to go to Facebook. So we'll go to Facebook. And we will go to our page. My, our company is called Wonder Thing, so we'll go to Wonder Thing here. There it is. We have uh, seven, seven likes, popular. 
Uh, <laughs> we'll go to Wonder Thing. Um, now it's, there's this thing across the top here that says, actually, I wonder. No, it says go to Business Manager. So Business Manager. So we'll go to Business Manager to manage the page. Click See More here to open this menu on the left side, and we want to go to About. Um, yeah. Go to About. For some reason, I have to click it twice. I don't know why. And you want to get this page ID. So we'll just highlight this. You can copy it and paste it somewhere. You can probably just keep it keep it open in a tab, whatever you got to do. Use Notepad, write it down. I don't care. Whatever. You'll figure it out, right? So we'll copy that. The next place we want to go is we need what's on, something called the Facebook JavaScript SDK. And that stands for the Facebook JavaScript Software Development Kit. Um, and what that basically does is that's the Facebook code that's run on your page. So if we search for Facebook JavaScript SDK, and I'm going to put this link again in the notes below. So check below. It'll be linked here if you don't want to search for Facebook JavaScript SDK. We'll click on that. Uh, and then we'll click on Quick Start. That's what we need. We need to get started quickly. Okay. So when you get to this page, Quick Start Facebook SDK for JavaScript. Go to the basic setup, that's all we need. Just the basics, basics. There's actually too much here, but that's another story. We copy the script tag, okay? Don't change anything at all. It's right on your clipboard, it's sitting there. Then we'll go back to our window here. This, so we're going back to click funnels, to our funnel. We're gonna paste it right in here, okay? So script tag open, script tag close, everything in between we've just totally copied from that page on Facebook, okay? Now we're almost done. We just need one more thing, okay? It's this easy, I know it. This code, it might scare you if you're not a web developer, but if not, you're good, okay? It's, everything's gonna be fine. So we're gonna type Facebook customer chat plugin, okay? That's all we need to type. Uh, again, I'll put the link down there, okay? If you don't wanna search for it. Um, and the first thing that comes up is this page in their documentation. It has an image of Jasper's Market, whoever that is. Scroll down, scroll down, um, and you'll see the very first thing that comes up under setup steps. Um, skip the first thing, we'll actually do that second. And then go to number two, include the plugin on your web page. You're gonna do that. So you're gonna copy this code right here, okay? This div, class equals FB customer chat, all the way to the end of the div. Go back to uh, our, our friendly little ClickFunnels page here, and we're gonna, we're gonna paste that in after the script, okay? Now what this, basically we need to do, there's something, this is, this is as difficult as it gets, okay? So, so pay attention. The last two lines, all we wanna keep, we're gonna delete them, okay? All we wanna keep is this little, triangular bracket here, okay? So we delete that. Now the only, so we have the div open, the class equals if FB customer chat in quotes, page ID equals page ID in quotes, okay? So again, leave that open, don't save it or anything, you don't need to. We're gonna go back to Facebook, where we have our page ID, I'm gonna grab that page ID. And then over here where it says page ID, you just delete that so the quotes are beside each other and then paste your page ID in there beside them. Okay, now close this window. Make sure that's in header code. Don't put it in footer code by accident. Make sure it's in header code. It needs to be there. Close that tracking code. Now click save. Okay. And then ClickFunnels tells us it's going to be ready in a minute. I don't know why it takes a minute, but every time it takes a minute. Um, now the last thing we want to do is we want to go back to our little page here. And you want to scroll right up here. And you want to click settings. Okay, click settings. Your page will change. This is again on your Facebook page in the business manager. And you want to click on mass messenger platform and that's the one, two, three, four, five, six thing down here, messenger platform, okay? Almost there, almost there. Stay with me. Okay, now we're gonna whitelist our domain. So scroll down, it says whitelisted domains above discover settings, below customer matching. Don't touch anything else. Whitelisted domains, Third-party domains that are accessible in the Messenger web view for use with the Messenger extensions, SDK, and Messenger plugins. That's what we want, Messenger plugins. Add your domain here from ClickFunnels, okay? Where do you get this? You go back to ClickFunnels. You hit back, so hit the exit button. That will take you back to your funnel. This is the page in the funnel. It will take you back to your funnel. Okay, now you just click this right here. There it is. So you'll see right here the domain, ours is wonderads.clickfunnels.com. We've added that subdomain to ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels may send you a generic one. Frankly, I can't remember exactly what they do before you install one. But get that, go back to Facebook, paste it in here, okay? Hit save, that's it, and then it's ready, okay? 
Now you go back to ClickFunnels and uh, hit this little this little thingy here. That'll uh, or this I think this little thingy does it. Visit the funnel URL. You can copy the URL and paste it. You can copy the clipboard, but visit the funnel URL. And all things working, it works. So then you'll see this Facebook thing in the corner, right? Et voila! In French, that means I think it means hey look or and now maybe I can't remember. Anyway, uh, now you can type a message to say hi to myself, so I can go hello, and then watch. I can go to Facebook and 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 I'm having look. I'm having a conversation. My business is having a conversation with myself. Crazy, huh? So uh, there we go. In a nutshell, that is exactly how to install the Facebook Customer Chat plugin on ClickFunnels. Um, there you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. Let us know if you need anything, or oh, if you have a platform that you want to see this on. Like if you have, I don't know, Wix or something, and you don't know how to install this Facebook Messenger chat plugin, hit me up. Uh, I might be able to help you out. I'm trying to make as many of these videos as possible. So if there's, uh, just to try and help people out, because I know this is frustrating. A lot of people that aren't web developers, and it's super easy uh, once, you, once you know what you're doing. So uh, if you see anything like that, um, and you want it installed somewhere, just hit me up in the comments, and I'll, I'll respond within a few days. So again, all the notes, all the links are in the, are in the comments. So have a good one. Talk to you later.